Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hi, Sumara, how are you? I'm fine. Nice. Did you go to work today? Yes. Okay. Home office. Ah, you work in it. Ah, okay. Okay, nice. <laughs> and hi, Beatrice. Hi, good night. How are you? I'm fine today. Nice, nice. Did you go to work? No, today no. You didn't? Yeah. No, I didn't. Where do you work? Um, I'm, I'm working in the airport. Ah, you work at the airport. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, in that case, you have to, you have to be in another place, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay. okay. But thank you for being in the class. And uh, let's see. Hi, Rosy. Uh, and hi, Shane. How are you? Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. I'm fine. Thanks. I'm relaxing a little bit after a long day. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah. Yes. Good work. Uh, for the situation. Yeah. The situation is is a little bit um, not dangerous. It's like you feel worried, <laughs> you yes. know. Yeah, but we have to relax. We have to do everything that the authorities are telling us to, do. and I think we're going to be okay with that. Okay. Yeah. All right. So thank you so much, everybody, for uh, making the time to be in this class. Uh, today we're going to run a little bit because we are behind for a couple of classes, okay? So I'm going to do a short review while your classmates are joining us. Voy a hacer un pequeño repaso mientras los demás se nos, eh, se nos incorporan. So thank you so much. Have a good evening and um, we are going to begin, okay? Yesterday we were practicing very quickly the use of was and where, okay? because uh, this is not a difficult topic. It is like the verb to be, but we are using it in the past, okay? Um, just for you to remember, uh, I told you yesterday that we can use the verb to be for professions. For example, I am a teacher, and also in the past, I was a teacher, okay? Uh, for places, for example, I am, I am in my house, and in the past, I was in my house yesterday, okay? And also for adjectives. For example, I am tall, I'm short, I am worried, okay? I am excited, okay? And also I can use it for the past, you know? I was tall, I was short, I was worried, I was excited, okay? We can use it for those three situations. And we were learning uh, the different uses that we can have for uh, was and where. And that it is very difficult if you, sorry, it is very easy because if you have M, that means that you have to use was. If you have R, you're going to use where, okay? They are my colleagues, they were my colleagues. Remember colleagues are the people that were with you, okay? Uh, they are like your co-workers, they are your colleagues, okay, and etc. Also, we were learning about the negative form. Uh, it is very easy also. We are going to include only not to the sentence. Mm, I was not a teacher last year. We were not students in the module one last month. They were not my colleagues. They were not in Canada last year. I was not in Canada last year, okay? So that's very easy. Then we have some yes, no questions. In this case, we have was or where at the beginning of the sentence or the question in this case, okay? And the answer, it is very simple as well because if the question is with was, you are going to answer with was. If the question is with where, you are going to answer with where. And I have more examples. They were my classmates in the English class. Were they my classmates in the English class? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Okay. 
And you were in your house yesterday. Were you in your house yesterday? Yes, yes, I was. No, I was. Okay. And so on. Um, did you have the time or did you have a chance to do the practice on the platform? ¿Tuvieron eh, tiempo para poder hacer esta práctica en la plataforma? Acerca del was here where? Uh -huh. O no la pudieron hacer. No, teacher. No la pudo hacer. Uh, I... I am not beginning. I am not beginning. Uh, I have a I have a problem with the uh, with the password. Ah, uh, you have a problem with the password. Okay. Ooh. Yes. Did you talk to Jonathan? Uh, uh, something contact me today. Tell ah, okay. me about. Uh, ah. Tell her. Tell her this problem and. Mm -hmm. I take the, the, the para, para que me dé bien los pasos o el paso, no sé. Okay, but they are going to contact you. Yes, ah, okay. but no, this is the, the one, the, the first day. Ah, okay, okay, yeah, no problem, okay, no problem. And what about the others? ¿Qué tal los demás pudieron hacer esta práctica, la 2.11? Que solo tienen que poner, tienen que poner was or where y si va a ir en affirmative or negative. Uh -huh. Yes, I can. I am in section four. Ah, okay. Nice. Five. Okay, you're in section four. Okay, perfect. Okay. Ya, yeah, eso es lo que les quería explicar, que después de esa parte, bueno, ahora vamos a tratar de avanzar lo más que podamos en la section number three, que de hecho está bastante fácil. Es como un medio repaso de algo que ya sabemos. Y el fin de semana probablemente se queden para, para hacer la, el, el, el examen que está después de la sección number three. Ok. Porque tenemos un pequeño examen eh, eh, al finalizar la sección number three. Que lo más recomendable es que la hagan durante el fin de semana para que no tengan ningún problema. Ok. Acuérdense que en esta plataforma van a tener dos exámenes, uno a mitad de term, a, mitad de, a la mitad del nivel o a la mitad de curso y, lo, y el otro hasta final. ¿okay? Así que por favor estemos pendientes de eso para no tener problemas después con, eh, con el progreso. ¿okay? Que recuerde que es un 80% que necesitamos terminar para que tengan la opción de, eh, de estar en el siguiente, en el siguiente módulo. ¿okay? So let's see. Um, ahí teníamos la section number two. We are going to begin with section number three. And we're going to do it very quick. Okay. Uh, let's listen to this conversation. Excuse me. I'm your new I'm your new I'm sorry. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh yes, I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes. There are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a Landromart near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay. Let's see. Do you see any new word? Alguna palabra nueva? Tengan por acá? By the way, ¿qué significa? By By the way, uh, por cierto, o de hecho, uh -huh. Uh -huh. de hecho creo que eso es bastante común cuando se está mensajeando. Hay muchas personas okay. que lo ponen así, como BTW. Eso significa by the way, por cierto, o uh -huh, por cierto, uh -huh. creo que esa es la, la traducción más común. Por cierto, fíjate que te quería contar, o by the way, uh -huh, uh -huh, etc. Any other new word? By the way, we have Landomart here. Landromart. Uh, this is the place that you go to do your laundry. For example, you go to this place to wash your clothes, okay? Your t-shirt, your pants. If you don't have a washing, uh, a washing machine in your house, uh, you, you go to a Landromart, okay? And you do your laundry in that place. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Uh -huh. What is the pronunciation? Landromart. Landromart. Mm -hmm. Landromart. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of neighbor? Uh -huh. Neighbor. Vecino. Vecino. Okay, perfect. So over here we have neighbor. Y esa palabra de hecho viene de la palabra neighborhood. Okay, neighborhood. Que ya neighborhood significa como la colonia en donde usted vive. Okay, neighborhood. Entonces, alguien que vive en la misma colonia que usted vive sería su vecino. Okay, your neighbor. Solo que no, no tiene la palabra hood al final. Okay. Entonces, neighborhood significa colonia y neighbor su vecino. Okay. Um, what is a grocery store? Es como una tienda, ¿verdad? Ellos le dicen mm -hmm. a un lugar donde venden productos básicos. Exactly, like super selectos or uh, despensa de Don Juan familiar, whatever, okay? Maxi despensa or any other. Those are grocery stores, okay? When you find, for example, beans, rice, bread, milk, okay? Any type of drink, okay? That is a grocery store. Mm -hmm. All right, and a shopping center. Can you tell me some examples of shopping centers in El Salvador? Uh, mm -hmm. Simán. Simán can be a shopping center. Uh huh. Any other? Um, Metro Centro can be a shopping Plaza center. Mundo. Plaza Mundo. Uh huh. Multiplaza. Okay. Those are shopping centers. Okay. A place. Metro Galería. Galerias, okay, perfect, okay. Those are shopping centers, okay. So let's listen to me one more time. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes, I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay. Um, let's see, what's the meaning of near? Near. Near. Cerca. Cerca. Okay, cerca. Okay, perfect. Or close. Mm -hmm. Or close, okay. Yeah, close to close to this place. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Let's see. Uh, Shane, you are going to be Jack. And uh, Beatrice, you're going to be Mr.'s Day. Okay? Let's do it. Okay. 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 Jack, I'm just moving. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, God. Um, is there a laundry map near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Let's see. Um, Jack, gather. You're going to be Jack and Xiomara. You're going to be Mister Stay. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. I'm your new neighborhood neighbor, Jack. Mm -hmm. I just moved in. Oh yes. I am looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. Um, is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there is one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, perfect. And the last ones, let's see. Hugo, you're going to be Jack. 
And uh, Rosie, you're going to be Mr. Steve. Okay. Excuse me, and your new neighbor, Jack, in you moved in? Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there is one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, excellent. Now, I want you to tell me what are some um, what are some places that we usually find in a neighborhood or in the, in the, in the downtown? Do you know the meaning of downtown? The park. Okay, downtown, for example, downtown is like the center of the city, okay? Pueblo. So, yeah, or a town, uh -huh, perfect. Uh, also, what are some places that we can find there? For example, someone told me park, yeah? The church. A church, uh huh. Uh, pharmacy. A pharmacy or a drugstore, yeah. Drugstore, libraries. Okay. A hey, market. Uh huh. Market. Uh huh. Oops. Not expensive. Gas station. Gas station. Uh huh. College. A college or a school, uh huh. Cinema, a cinema, uh huh. The police station, uh huh. Hospital, hospital, pupuserias are very important too. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, think about your neighborhood. What are some things that you find <laughs> in your neighborhood? Uh, what? How do you call tiendas? Do you know how to call tiendas? Grocery. Grocery store. Yeah, but a grocery store is bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, a tienda, it can be a mini store. A store. Mm -hmm. A mini store. Mm -hmm. Or a store. Uh -huh. Grocery and store is What like, do you say, uh, ferretería? Ah, mm, hardware store, ferretería. Hardware store. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I think those are like the most common ones in uh, in a neighborhood, okay, or in downtown. So, right now we're going to practice how to use this, how to use these places using there is and there are, okay? And actually, I know that's very simple for you. Uh, we're going to use for singulars, we're going to use there is, and for plural, we're going to use there are, okay? I have, I have a, a couple of examples here. In my neighborhood, there is an academy, okay? In my neighborhood, there is an academy. Also, in my neighborhood, there are mini stores, okay? In my neighborhood, there are mini stores. Right now, I don't want you to tell me how many, okay? I don't want you to tell me five or six, no. You're going to tell me only the general idea, okay? For example, in my neighborhood, there is an academy and there are mini stores. What about in your neighborhood? Let's see. Uh, Carolina, can you tell me what I can find in your neighborhood? In my neighborhood? Mm, uh, pupuserias. Okay, there are pupuserias. Uh -huh. um, college. Okay, there is a college. Uh -huh. Try to say the complete Supermarket. sentence. Just the, the complete sentence. Uh -huh. oh. Mm, there is a um, supermarket. Okay, uh -huh. one more. And there is a church. Oh, and there is a church. Perfect. I was, thank you. I was thinking about another one. Uh, how do you say taller? For example, in a, a place that, that fixes your car. Mm -hmm. Do you know how to say taller? Yes. No, I know. 
Yo me yo me busco la verdad. Okay, a taller is a workshop. Uh -huh. A workshop. Uh -huh. That is a taller, okay, a workshop. Even in your companies, sometimes there are trainings, o hay algunos talleres, le llaman ellos, o capacitaciones. In English, we also call workshop to those trainings. También le llamamos workshop a esos, a esos talleres o capacitaciones que le dan en, en las empresas, ¿ok? Así como un taller mecánico, así se le llama también un taller de formación, ¿ok? Un workshop, así se le llama también, ¿ok? So let's see. Um, yes. Can you describe your neighborhood? Um, yes. In my in my neighborhood there is a park. Mm -hmm. There is there are two high school. Mm -hmm. Um there uh, there is a church. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Let's see another person, uh, Beatriz. Can you tell me or can you describe your neighborhood? Of course. Uh -huh. uh, in my neighborhood, there are mini stores and mm -hmm. workshops. And also in my neighborhood, there is a um, school and uh -huh. there is a um, church. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Let's see, Xiomara, can you describe your neighborhood? Okay, mm -hmm. in my neighborhood, uh, there are drugstores, mm -hmm. there is a library, uh -huh. there is a church, um, there is a hospital, okay. and there is a police station. Okay, excellent, excellent. Uh, I was thinking also that in English or, I mean, in general, we have uh, shopping centers, right? But also we have plazas. Nowadays they are very common, plazas, okay? And uh, actually we don't have a word in English for that one. We also call it plaza, okay? Plaza. Because for example, in my, neighbor, in my neighborhood there is a plaza, okay? There is a plaza, let's see. Um, Hugo, can you describe your neighborhood, please? Okay. In my neighborhood there is a a police station, mm -hmm. there is a park, mm -hmm. there are a, a mini stores, mm -hmm. and there are a barber shop. There is a barber shop, okay, perfect. Huh? Excellent. So, this is very simple, right? This is very simple. Now we're going to do questions and answers, but we're going to use now one, we're going to use some, and we're going to use any, okay? And we're going to combine also this topic. There is and there are. We're going to see how we combine that. Um, first of all, I can say there is a restaurant in my neighborhood. That will be the sentence in affirmative. Now the question for the question I need to have is at the beginning, okay? There, the second chain, the second, uh, the second word, and then the rest is uh, normal. Okay, and I have the question mark at the end. So, in order to answer to this type of questions, since it is a yes no question, we're going to have two options: yes or no. Okay, so I can say yes, there is, or no, there isn't, because the question is with there is there. So I need to answer yes, there is, or no, there isn't, okay? Uh, let's see, I'm going to ask very randomly. You're going to tell me yes, there is, or no, there isn't. Uh, let me see. Um, Shane, is there a shopping center in your neighborhood? Um, not teacher. Okay, no, there isn't, okay? No, there, no, there isn't. isn't. Uh -huh. Let's see, Rosie, is there a church in your neighborhood? Yes, there is. Okay, perfect. Uh, Carolina, is there a is there a police station in your neighborhood? No, there isn't. Excellent, okay. And finally, let me ask, um, Yader, 
Is there a is there a stadium in your neighborhood? No, there isn't. Okay, perfect. Ahorita me acabo de acordar de cómo decir cancha, porque me imagino que en, tal vez en su colonia hay una cancha. Okay. Cancha se dice soccer field o solamente field, ok? Porque igual puede ser una cancha que se usa para varias, varias cosas. Y de igual si aquí lo puede cambiar por el deporte, puede ser una basketball field, baseball field, o simplemente una cancha, field, ok? Entonces, How do you say alcaldía? Alcaldía, uh, city hall, uh -huh. city hall, uh -huh. y también okay. estaba acuerdo de otra... City Hall no sería cárcel. No, cárcel sería jail. Uh -huh. No, jail. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ok. Creo que tenemos dos para alcaldía, que sería City Hall o también Mayor's Office. Uh -huh. La oficina del alcalde también se puede decir así. Mayor's Office. Uh -huh. Mayor's Office. Ok. Estoy acordándome de una, pero se me pido. Ahí se la digo después. Ok. Uh, so, it is very simple to answer, okay? Now, you can answer in a short form. Puede responder de manera corta, pero también puede dar eh, oraciones largas, okay? Estamos acá, ¿verdad? Is there a restaurant in your neighborhood? Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Puedo decir, there is one, para referirme únicamente a una. O puedo decir, ah, okay? Que sería cualquiera de las dos opciones. Porque A significa uno. So, there is one restaurant or uh, there is a restaurant, okay? There is a restaurant. Ahora, si cuando me preguntan, is there a restaurant in your neighborhood? Y hay más de uno, también puedo responder en plural. Aunque me han preguntado con is, puedo responder en plural. Solo que en ese caso tendría que decir some or the number of restaurants, okay? O el número exacto de restaurantes, si, si es que se lo puede, okay? So, there is one restaurant or there are some restaurants. Okay, I have to put it in plural. Uh, there are some restaurants in my neighborhood. Ahora, si de verdad no hay ninguno, voy a usar any. Because any means zero. Any significa zero. Okay. So, there aren't any restaurants. Okay. No hay ningún restaurante o no hay restaurantes. Okay. There aren't any restaurants. Ahora, usted puede decir, piche, puedo poner eso en negativo. Sí, se puede también. There isn't any restaurant. Podríamos usar many. Eh, en vez de eh, some, sí. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can say some. O si no quiere contarlos y decir el número, puede decir many. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Perfect. ¿Alguna otra pregunta de otra palabra que podemos usar acá? Así es como usamos las tres, de hecho. Okay? Puede decir one o puede decir a. You can say some restaurants or many restaurants. There isn't any restaurant. No hay ningún restaurante. Eh, o no hay restaurantes. There aren't any restaurants. Ok. Todo depende de como usted quiera responder. Let's do one exercise over here. Vamos a hacer un pequeño ejemplo acá. Is there a soccer field in your neighborhood? Is there a soccer field in your neighborhood? ¿Cómo sería la afirmativa? Uh -huh. Is there a soccer field? Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. yes, there is a yes, soccer is. field big uh -huh, okay. in my neighborhood. Yeah, we're going to keep it, uh, we're going to go one by one. Okay, we might go one by one. Yes, there is. What is the negative? No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Uh -huh, no, there isn't. Uh -huh. there isn't. Okay, and uh, now what someone was saying over there, there is one, there is one big, Soccer field in my neighborhood. Okay, yeah, perfect. That's a good answer. If you have more than one, or if, if you don't have any, what do you say? Si no tiene ninguna, como diría? There aren't. 
any soccer fields. In the okay, we can say that where there aren't any soccer fields. O como sería la otra? Uh -huh. De acuerdo al ejemplo que tengo arriba. Uh -huh. There isn't any. Okay, so there is uh -huh. there isn't any soccer fields. So any soccer field in my neighborhood. Okay? Perfect. Let's do the next one. Are there any pupuserías in your neighborhood? Now, over here I have any, porque any también lo puedo usar como pregunta. Es el único que puedo, bueno, es uno de, uno de los dos que puedo usar como pregunta. Porque en este caso puedo poner any y un sinónimo de any, cuando lo pongo en pregunta sería some, ¿ok? Solamente cuando lo pongo en pregunta. Cuando lo pongo en respuesta significa cero. Pero cuando lo pongo en pregunta es un sinónimo de some, ¿ok? Entonces usted me pregunta, teacher, are there any pupuserías in your neighborhood? ¿Hay algunas pupuserías en su, en su, en su colonia? O también me puede decir, teacher, are there some pupuserías in your neighborhood? ¿Hay algunas pupuserías en su colonia? Okay. Cualquiera de las dos se puede usar. En este caso, any no significa cero. Únicamente significa cero cuando va en negativo. Okay. There aren't any or there isn't any. In this case, it means some. So let's see, what can be the short answer in affirmative? Let me see. Hugo, what is the short answer in affirmative? Yes? Are there any pupuserías? Mm -hmm. Hugo? Yeah, yes, mm -hmm. there are. Yes, there are, okay, yes, um, there are. Uh -huh. And the negative? No, they aren't. Uh -huh. No, they aren't. In this case, yes. Okay. No, they aren't. Okay. Um, what can be the sentence in affirmative? Let me see. Uh, Xiomara, the sentence in affirmative. Yes, there are some pupuserias in my, neighbor, in my neighborhood. Okay. There are some pupuserias in my neighborhood. Okay, excellent. What can be the negative? What can be the complete sentence in negative, Xiomara? There aren't any pupuserias in my neighborhood. Okay, there aren't any pupuserias in my neighborhood. Okay, perfect. Okay. Perfect. Another question. Are there any taquerias in your neighborhood? Are there any taquerias? Let me see. The short answer in affirmative. Rosie. Are there uh, taquerias? Mm -hmm. The um, short answer in affirmative. Uh -huh. I'm sure. Yes, they are. There are. Yes, there are. Uh huh. And the negative, the short one. No, there aren't. Okay, no, there aren't. Okay, perfect. Uh, let me see. Beatrice, what is the complete answer in affirmative? There are some in affirmative. Uh huh. There are some tacarias in my neighborhood. Okay, perfect. And what can be the complete answer in negative? Chain. Uh -huh. um, in negative or affirmative? Negative. Uh -huh. No, there aren't. The complete sentence? Um, in my neighborhood. Uh -huh. Uh, I don't, I don't have, a, there are taquerias in my neighborhood. Ah, okay, there aren't any taquerias. Uh -huh. Any taquerias in my neighborhood. Okay, perfect. Excellent. 
Thank you. Okay. So this is how we ask and answer uh, questions with there is and there are. Okay. I think this is very simple for you. Uh, I don't think we have any problems with this. So we're going to move on to the next topic. That is prepositions of place. Okay. Prepositions of place. First of all, we have on. Okay. On. We're going to use on for the names of the streets and the names of the avenues. Okay. The names of the streets and the names of the avenues. For example, on San Bernardino Avenue, on Second Avenue, on Third Avenue, on Florence Street, on Armali Amarillo Street. Okay, that's how we're going to use on. Okay, I know that on is sobre. Okay, because for example, my I don't know my water is on my cell phone. Okay, that can be an example. But that is like in position or the objects, right? But when we are talking about a map in a place, we use on for the name of the street. Usamos on para decir sobre qué calle está. Okay. So on Third Avenue, on First Avenue, etc. Okay. The next one, across from. Repeat, across from. Across from. Mm -hmm. Across, across from. from. Mm -hmm. That means uh, it is like in front of. Okay. Across from or in front of. The only difference is that across from, you need to cross the street. And across from, tiene que pasarse la calle. Okay. Digamos, está a este lado de la calle y le dicen que, que tiene que pasarse la calle es across from, ¿ok? Across from. Ahora, in front of es cuando usted está eh, del lado del, del, del lugar y solo como punto de referencia está enfrente del banco, digamos, pero usted está ya al otro lado de la calle. Entonces, solo para que se ubique sería in front of, ¿ok? Enfrente del banco, ¿ok? Uh, next to. Next to. Okay, that is next to, a la par, okay, next to. Uh, behind, behind, repeat, behind. 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 Mm -hmm. We have two pronunciations for this. Tenemos dos tipos de pronunciación. Behind or behind, okay? Behind. 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 Yeah, let me write it here. We have... Behind, o oh, también podemos tener behind, ok, behind, ahí la manera que usted quiera, en la que más se le acomode, así lo puede decir, ok, behind or behind, ok, uh, the next one, between, between, que sería en medio, ok, between, on the corner of, on the corner of, que sería en la esquina de, y luego de of tiene que decir eh, las, dos, las dos calles que se conectan, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, uh, the hair salon, the hair salon is on the corner of Third Avenue and Florence Street, ¿ok? Está como en, la, en las calles que se conectan, sería on the corner of, ¿ok? On the corner of. Also, you can say in the middle of the block. In the middle of the block, que sería la mitad de la cuadra. Because block means cuadra, okay? Block means cuadra. So you can say walk two blocks, camine dos cuadras. Walk five blocks, camine cinco cuadras. Walk one block, okay? Or it is in the next block. Está en la siguiente cuadra. It is on the next block, okay? Um, so that is how we use prepositions of place when we are talking about a neighborhood that has a lot of places, okay? Let's see. I'm going to ask some questions and then you're going to tell me uh, the position or the correct location using uh, these uh, prepositions, okay? I think I have another one. Yeah, close to or near 
Estas eh, ambas son, son sinónimos, sinónimos, close to or near, cerca, okay. cerca de o cerca, okay. close to or near. Y la otra sería around the corner, around the corner, okay. a la vuelta de la esquina, okay. around the corner, around the corner. So you can use that one if you prefer as well, okay. For example, um, Rosy. Where is the park? The park, park, mm -hmm. park, park. Ah. And the park is uh, between mm -hmm. Florence Street and Yosemite Street. Excellent. Okay. The park is between Florence Street and Yosemite Street. Uh, Hugo, where is the bookstore? The bookstore. Okay. Eh, eh, the bookstore is across from guest gas station. Ah, okay. The bookstore is across from the gas station. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Psyomara, where is the parking lot? The parking lot is behind nail salon and hair salon. Excellent, okay. The parking lot is behind the, nurse, the nail salon and the hair salon. Perfect. Um, let me see, Gather, yeah, where is the bank? Mm, the bank, the bank is between supermarket and gas station. Excellent, okay. The bank is between the supermarket and the gas station. And let's see. Uh, Shane, where is the bus stop? Um, I don't have the bus stop. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a far, far away. Yeah, it is here. The yes. bus Okay, Beatriz, where is the bus stop? Uh -huh. The bus stop is in front of movie theater. Ah, it's in, for, in front of the movie theater. Excellent. And Carolina, where is the ATM? Mm. ATM. ATM is in front of supermarket. In front of the supermarket, excellent. Or you can say also uh, in the middle of the block of the supermarket. Mm -hmm. In the middle of the block of the supermarket. Do you know the meaning of ATM? Do you know the meaning of ATM people? No. no? Cajero. Cajero, yeah. Okay, cajero. Uh, in English is automatic machine. Es como una... Uh, eh, máquina automática, si lo quiere traducir, pero solo usan eh, los, las iniciales para, para hacerlo más rápido en inglés, ATM, que sería un cajero, ok, un cajero, all right, questions, algo que, que quisiera clarificar de esa parte es que también se puede hacer, por ejemplo, eh, turn right, turn left, walk to blocks, etc. Pero preferí no enseñarles eso porque primero toma algo de tiempo y segundo es que no se lo está pidiendo en la plataforma. ¿okay? Entonces no, no, no sería tan, tan importante que, se, que aprendamos esta parte. Nada más déjenme mostrarle en la plataforma eh, los dos ejercicios que estaría haciendo sobre there is and there are y también lo de eh, prepositions. ¿okay? En la 3.4 de acuerdo al mapa que usted tiene ahí, tiene que elegir la, la correct direction, la dirección correcta brindada. ¿okay? Entonces aquí tengo un mapa similar al que yo tengo. Y esta es la primera pregunta. ¿Is there a near here? Entonces tiene que ver la dirección para ver de qué está hablando. Yes, there is one. 
It is on the corner of Elm Street and Maple Avenue. Ah. Elm Street and uh, Maple Avenue. Okay, entonces ahí usted lo busca. King Plaza Hotel. Ah, King Plaza Hotel, ok. Entonces vengo acá. Y en, dentro de esas opciones, elijo cuál es la que, a cuál se refiere. Okay, entonces sería Hotel, ok. Y así voy con las demás. Ok, tengo que leer... La dirección que me da, está usando únicamente eh, lo, que le, lo que les mencionaba, ok. Y tiene 10 oraciones en las que usted tiene que elegir cuál es el lugar al que se refiere, de acuerdo a la dirección que le da y de acuerdo a la posición en la que está, ok. Así que eso sería lo que tienen que hacer en la uh, section 3.4, ok, en la 3.4. Um, si se fijan no es de escritura, nada más de elegir el lugar correcto, así que tienen que entender eso de next to, behind, ok, y fijarse bien en, las, en, las, en el nombre de las, en, fijarse en el nombre de las calles, ok, que eso le va a ayudar. All right. Any question hasta aquí? Una pregunta hasta acá. No. Ok, la sección número 3 tiene nada más tres ejercicios, ok. Tiene nada más tres ejercicios. Eh, vamos a ver hasta dónde alcanzamos a hacer ahora de la segunda parte. Para que puedan hacer el, 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 el examen después de la sección 3 eh, durante el fin de semana. Ok. Vamos a tratar de cubrir lo más que podamos en esos pocos minutos que nos quedan. All right. Bueno, eso lo vamos a practicar el otro fin de, el, el lunes, porque ya me está quedando un poco, poquito de tiempo. Ok, another conversation. Uh, let's listen. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it is very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, so I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I'll call you back later, okay? Any new words that you see here? Alguna palabra nueva? Noise. Noise, uh -huh. noise. Um, that noise is ruido, ruido. Mm -hmm. Hold Hello. on. Excuse me? Hold on, hold on. Um, Al final. Al final. Ah, hold on. Mm -hmm. it, it is like, wait, wait, hold on. Uh -huh. Es como espera, ok, o espérame. Hold on, that's my car alarm, ok, es como que, uh, no, espérate, esa es la alarma de mi carro, ok. Hold on, uh -huh. hold on. Is there much crime? Is... Uh -huh. Hay mucho crimen. Hay mucho crimen. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hay mucho crimen. Ahora uh -huh. estoy preguntando, hay mucho crimen. O hay crimen, así en general. Uh -huh. De hecho, eso es lo que vamos a ver ahorita. Okay. All right. Safety is pretty safety. It's pretty safe. Es bastante seguro. Uh -huh. It's pretty safe. Uh -huh. All right. So we're going to practice. Let's see. Hugo, you're going to be Nick. And Carolina, you're Pam. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown. So it's very convenient. Mm -hmm. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no. There isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. 
What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll, I'll call you back later. Okay, perfect. And the last ones, let's see, the last ones. Um, Gather, you are Nick and Beatrice, you are Pam. Okay. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no. There isn't any. I, I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What? What about parking? Well, there aren't any parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's very safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I called you back later. Excellent, nice, thank you. Okay, we're going to talk about quantifiers, okay? And we will, we will talk about countable and uncountable nouns. I know that this is basically related with food. But right now we are going to apply this to a city. Vamos a tratar de aplicar eso a una ciudad. But before we do that, hagamos eso. Can you tell me some countable nouns about food? Pueden decirme algunos countable nouns que sepan de comida, solo para tener claro que sabemos cuáles son countable y cuáles son uncountable. Díganme algunos countable nouns que sean de comida. Uh -huh. Orange. Oranges. Uh -huh. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Uh -huh. Carol. Carrots. Uh -huh. uh, potatoes. Potatoes. Apples. Okay. Watermelons. Le, uh -huh. Le llamamos countable porque los podemos contar. Podemos decir one, uh, one orange, one apple, three apples. 11 apples, ok. Eso siempre lo podemos cuantificar desde 1 hasta el infinito, ok. Y los podemos tener en singular y en plural, ok. Podemos tenerlos en ambos casos, tanto singular como plural. Ahora, díganme algunos uncountable nouns about food. Salt, wine, Salt, water, sugar, uh -huh. sugar. Salt. Salt, uh -huh. wine. Water. Water. Water, ajá, uh -huh, ok, etc. Entonces en eso eh, es un poco más difícil cuantificarlos porque no podemos agarrar un poco de agua, ¿verdad? Y empezar a contar gotita por gotita, que eso va a ser imposible. O la sal, ¿verdad? Sino que agarramos un poco y así se lo ponemos a la comida, ok. Por eso son uncountable. En, la, en ese caso, they are always singular. En ese caso siempre van a ser singulares, ok. Entonces usted puede decir, there is sugar, there is salt, pero nunca va a decir, there are salt. Ahí es imposible, ¿ok? Únicamente con los countable puedo decir, there is or there are. En los uncountable siempre voy a decir, there is. Entonces, basándonos en eso, pensemos ahora en la ciudad. What are some countable nouns in the city? ¿Qué puedo contar en una ciudad? The bill. The, no, the buildings, no. los edificios, Building. 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 cars, uh, people, the restaurant, the people, uh -huh. Uh -huh. one more, pet, the pets, okay, perfect. Now, uncountable nouns are a little bit different, okay? En este caso vamos a ver cuáles son algunos ejemplos eh, de uncountable nouns in in the city, okay? First of all, restaurants, we can count them. Crime, el crimen en general, eso no lo podemos contar, okay? Si sí podemos contar los asesinatos, okay? Pero el crimen en general no lo puedo contar. Entonces, ahí tendría que decir there is crime or there isn't any crime, okay? 
todo depende de su ciudad. Usted lo puede eh, describir como que hay crimen o no hay crimen. Okay? There is crime or there isn't any crime. The next one, houses. You can count the houses, but the traffic, I don't think you can count the traffic, okay? Uh, you cannot say one traffic, two traffics, no. El tráfico simplemente existe y no se puede cuantificar, okay? Uh, cars, yeah, you can, you can count the cars, but the noise, you can count the noise. No puede decir un sonido, o sea, un ruido, dos ruidos. Eh, o sea, que eso siempre es un sonido, un solo, un, un solo sonido, por así decirlo. Okay? Entonces, eso tampoco se puede contar. Noise. Okay? Noise. Buildings. Okay? Los edificios. Buildings. Eh, contaminación. Okay? That is also something that we cannot count. Es algo más que no podemos eh, contar. Eh, la contaminación. Streets, okay, streets, que serían las calles. Eh, el humo, okay, el humo de las calles. Eso no lo podemos cuantificar, no podemos agarrar un poco de humo y decir, me lo voy a llevar para la casa, okay. Es imposible, okay, small. Eh, cafeterias, okay, cafeterias. Eh, dust, sería el polvo, okay. Dust. And, uh, yeah. ¿Qué otros creen que podemos agregar a esta lista? Que sean contables o no contables. Mm -hmm. Church. Street. Okay, churches, Church. streets. What about uncountable? Three. Church. De la basura, teacher. Three. Ah, garbage. Mm -hmm. Garbage. Tres la basura. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué pasa con la naturaleza? ¿Podemos contar la naturaleza? No, environment. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. nature or environment. Uh -huh. Line. Light. Uh -huh. Light. Uh -huh. ¿Y cuál sería lo opuesto a la light? La luz. Dark. 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 Uh -huh. And the dark. Ok, perfect. Entonces, estos son algunos de los que existen en cuanto a la ciudad. Ok, countable and uncountable. Recuerde que esos pueden ser singular o plural. Y eso es únicamente singular. Okay? No puede decir pollutions, no puede decir dusts, natures. Ok, eso es imposible. No se pueden hacer en plural. Ok. Ahora, basándonos en esto, eh, hay unos quantifiers que yo puedo usar. Todo depende si son contables o no contables. Okay? Por ejemplo, many. There are many cars. There are many cafeterias. There are many streets. Okay? Pero con los uncountable puedo usar much. Okay? Much. There is much noise. There is much uh, nature. There is much pollution. Okay? There is much light. Okay? Uh, there are many cafeterias, there is much traffic, okay? How can you describe your, your neighborhood in general? Let's see. Um, Carolina, how can you describe your neighborhood using many or much? Many, much. Um, there is... Um, there is much... Um, smoke. Uh -huh, there is much smoke. Uh -huh. In many? In many. Um, there, there are um, many cars. There are many cars. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. And let's see, Beatriz, can you tell me a sentence using many and one using much about your neighborhood? Of course, in my neighborhood there are many mini stores and uh -huh. also there are there is much traffic. Ah, there is much traffic. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. So así es como usamos esos quantifiers. Okay. De hecho, los últimos son eh, bastante parecidos, así que lo vamos a ver bien rápido. 
There are a lot of churches, okay, muchas, que sería a lot. Y también puedo usar a lot for uncountable, okay. There is a lot of smoke, there is a lot of noise, there are a lot of churches, and there are a lot of buses, okay. Um, in this case, when we want to do it uh, smaller, que podemos hacerlo más corto, que sería a lot, sería bastante. A few sería pocos, okay? For countable, there are a few grocery stores, there are a few trees. There is a little noise, there is a little parking, there is a little smoke, okay? También se puede usar de esa manera, right? And finally, any, any. There isn't any cinema, there aren't any drugstores, there isn't any crime, there isn't any security, okay? Así es como usamos esos diferentes quantifiers. So, con esto fácilmente usted puede hacer la, la sección number three y también puede hacer el examen. Prometo que para la próxima clase voy, voy a traer más prácticas sobre esto. Igual, eh, usted trate de hacer el examen con lo que pueda y cualquier duda la clarificamos el lunes. Okay? Si no, me manda un mensaje. All right. So, thank you so much, everybody. Have a good weekend. And stay safe, okay? Have a good night. Have a good weekend and good bless tonight. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.